Welcome back, everybody. Sniper God, welcome. First time. Flying Dogs, good to see you. Slappins, Warp Keep, yeah, hoping it works this time. Yeah, I'll ask for you guys' help about, uh, you know, if there's a little bit of a delay. I tried to troubleshoot that a little bit beforehand, but it's always tough to do, you know, on my end of things. It sure doesn't seem like there is. Oh, it's working. Excellent. Great. That one dude guy, good to see you. Now, shout out, oh, well, uh, a, a real test here for people who have been following my streaming in the past. Anybody remember this? <laughs> I streamed this for the channel anniversary, so February 13th or so. And I can't recall if it was last year or if it was the year before that. I just, I, I don't recall. But um, I streamed, like, they have a demo available on Steam, and then uh, I, I did the tutorial and then went went on for, like, 30 minutes into the the demo portion after the tutorial what this is yeah yeah it convinced me to fly upside down <laughs> yeah the helo warp keep absolutely yeah it was i mean when we cleared the uh, arc de triomphe in uh, in that helicopter if i remember correctly but uh brew baron's here um the developers, many thank you for, or many thanks for the key here. This is just about, uh, this This will be launching um, sometime later in February, I believe. And they provided me a key for the full game. And there is a, uh, a, a shout out to the channel <laughs> in here. <laughs> and that's what we're going to go take a look at this time. But this is the, the unlikely, well, I, I don't even know. It, it's a great combination. This is the unexpected combination of float planes and like deliveries and air combat and that sort of thing but also like you have to run a, a pub and then make like you have to brew alcohol and stuff distill it ferment it and then deliver it to other bars around here <laughs> around the, the game world it's it's pretty interesting i've been playing it quite a bit i'm gonna do uh kind of like a a little bit of a commentary playthrough over on the Long Plays channel, but we'll we'll jump right in here, and we'll take a look at what we've got going on. Uh, no, the kiddo was not playing this with Bun Bun. No, that <laughs> I don't even actually I don't even have a stuffed animal down here with me right now. It's kind of strange, but I do have my cough drops, so we're good. We're good. <clears throat> Okay, now this may be what some of, you know, what may be remembered. Uh, we've got, you know, a, a floating biplane right now. I've got a custom pontoon on it for anybody who happens to be familiar. But you can build different di types of planes. You can buy pieces for them. Really kind of, you know, rapid Immelman turn. Uh, but, you know, if you crash, you're going to lose your pilot every time. Felix the Cat, welcome back. You got uh, just all sorts of different stuff you can upgrade on these. I won't, I won't go through all of that, but there's a whole lot of it. Uh, is it the Kingfisher? I, I don't know. Let's see here. Ah, you were a Sunscriber. Okay, gotcha. I got you, Warp Keep. No problem. So we've got an aircraft that we've got to maintain here, but at the same time, we have a brewery where we have to make different recipes of things, you know, different spiced oily cider and beer and whiskey, all that sort of stuff. Just tons and tons of things. I actually think I have a contract right now. Yeah, I do. The Pelican and the Pipe Bar has asked for some beer, 55 units of it. I don't know if I have the appropriate stuff. Let's see, a beer that's based on prickly wheat. Let's see. Don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of flying. I just gotta figure out what we're gonna make these people. Sweet prickly ale. We obviously want the two stars, or better. I mean, if I could make that, I don't think I have that stuff. Prickly wheat and honey. Do I have the stuff for that? See your inventory. 
Oh, we've got some prickly wheat. We've got some honey. We can... We can do this, by golly. Okay. Now, on that contract, what did they... <laughs> Bringing back the eating lava discussion warp keep. <laughs> it has been a while. It has been a while since we <laughs> had ch chocolate water too. My goodness. Okay, they want it to be above 3% alcohol, but below 14. And we're going to do this prickly wheat. So let's see. Create. I need prickly wheat to be at least 40% of this. Which I think I can do... Yeah, because then the honey just needs to be 20. So we can go like that. We got all sorts of stuff. ATF agent, welcome back. <laughs> Milkless cereal. <laughs> I'm over here trying to make sweet prickly ale that I can go deliver to a competing bar in my, in my community. And you guys are talking shenanigans. All right, so this, yeah, once we get this up to a hundred units of stuff that is in here, it's going to get chomped up, basically. Oops. And there we go. And now we need to get between two, what was it, two and, ah, I already forgot. I feel like eight or nine percent alcohol be fine here i can't i can't click to view the contract now i would have had to look at it oh anybody live where you only have three two beer that's i i did for a while Ooh. air traffic control training was down in uh, oklahoma city and they only had three two beer down there that was that was a pain all right well 6.5 percent alcohol by volume I think we've got the right stuff here. Let's let's give this a shot. We need to ferment it because they wanted beer. Let's see what it comes out to. Stuck watching ads slappings. Oof, sweet prickly ale. Oh, ads ads happening. I'll wait. I'll wait. No problem. <laughs> I don't know how the ads work. You guys, just let me know when you're back. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it just ran. I see. All right, it's got a little timer thing here. Interesting. Should hopefully be coming back. You got, they reset the ad counter. <laughs> Slappins. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So we made some brews. We made 86 of them. My goodness. Uh, we can bottle these things. They actually made this in the game where you can uh, import uh, a label. I haven't done that, but we totally could. Maybe I will. Let's see here. What is this? Sweet prickly ale? Well... That name is certainly not going to do. We'll just go... There we go. Nodax Ale. And I don't want any weathering. Sure. Boy, that is... That is some fancy stuff right there. By golly. But now... By golly, we've got some ale that we can go sell to somebody else. I forget what they wanted. 55 of them, maybe? We'll take 60 just in case we have a little snafu and we'll put the rest of them to sell over in our bar and the other part of this is we've got our own bar nodax let's see i can talk to the patrons i've got a classic theme if i want to change it at this point it gets kind of expensive but uh ultimately i there will be a bunch of videos of this over on the long place channel and you can always go back and watch me play through the tutorial but what's interesting is there's like a whole roster thing now. I've been flying primarily with Francie and Walter, or Walter. They each have some traits, which are kind of cool. Walter is like a uh, retired military pilot. 
but he's uh, he's also kind of a drunk, so I've never <laughs> I've never felt more seen in my entire life here. But there's a bunch of other pilots. You had to choose at the beginning, and then you can set assign people as like your bar manager and stuff. I don't know. I'm I haven't discovered that many people yet. So it is. Uh, it's just it's just kind of interesting. Um, okay, so we've got everything we need for that one contract. Bye, golly, let's go fly something. This this stream of this person who's known as an aviator. You know, I'm still expecting some grandchildren from you, so stay safe. Ugh, goodness. Francie, my pilot right now, has a kind of a debuff where she will occasionally get calls from her parents. Mostly her mom. And it just, it, it hurts her, uh, it makes her fatigued. So there's what we're flying. Beautiful little float plane. Like I said, I've customized the pontoon so that occasionally this thing will drop like flyers to help my fame. That's the little stars up at the top. And uh, honestly, it's expensive because every time it drops the flyers, I get fined <laughs> for littering. <laughs> oh, here it goes. I think we got fined 45 silver right there. But my, uh, my fame went up a bit, so that's great. Anybody who remembers this from before, there's so much more going on now. We got, you know, balloons. We definitely have a, a blimp out there that's pirates. Not good. Controls a lot like uh, Enlisted. I could use a controller, but I'm just flying with mouse and keyboard and then WASD. Yeah, that's realistic. <laughs> the, the, the nagging mom call. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Uh-oh. See, look at that. We just got fined another 45 silver. But it did help our fame a little bit there. I've been doing missions for a while now, and... That little... There we go. There's a way we can tweak the uh, the camera a little bit here. Let's roll on in here. There we go. Enter the bar and sell this stuff. Do I remember the perfect cereal setup you made? I don't. I don't. Let's see your pelican and pipe. About time you showed up. We're all parched around here. I will say, I don't recall from the demo, but there's there's quite a bit of voice acting at this point. And I don't, if it is done by like AI or something, I haven't been able to tell. So I, I've been pretty pleased with that. Let's see here. All right, deliver. Let's get this delivery started or move along. All right. 60 units. Uh, you only want 55 of them. Good. 13 gold. Lucky me, punters aren't too fussy. This will be adequate. Great. That's all the units. Thank you very much, Squire. We'll be in touch with another contract in due course. Squire? I don't, I don't know that anybody's ever called me Squire. Appreciate it. Uh, here, I can talk to Ina, apparently. Uh, what is it now? Oh, I'm sorry for shouting. I'm having a bad day. While I was out on an archaeological dig near a local ruin, those damn pirates moved in and kicked us out. Now I'm waiting here until they move on. Is this a side mission or something? I've called the bay home for as long as I can remember. There's ancient ruins scattered across the many islands. You may have seen a couple out there. They've always fascinated me since childhood and were the reason why I became an archaeology student. Though now those awful pirates have moved in and they're putting all these fascinating ruins at risk. Our last <laughs> dig was canceled because of the smog residue in the air. Ah, I see. Wait, what? I'm... You're offering me a spot with the barons? I'm, I'm hiring somebody? I, I mean, I rarely ever drink except when I'm flustered like now. Oh, I get it. You're giving me a chance to stop those pirates and save the ruins, right? That's a great idea. I would have never thought of that. I mean, I really didn't mean to, but sure. But I hope you don't mind that I have little experience with planes and brews, and I tend to get nervous, and I, I, I'm not really doing myself any favors here, am I? Maybe I should shut my mouth. 
Pretend I didn't say anything. So, um, Ina, signing in. I'll wait for assignment back at your headquarters. Wow. Okay. We just, we got another, just out of nowhere, we just recruited a staff member, I guess. I was not, I was not expecting that. I had no idea that was going to happen. All right, so the the kitchen, or the, uh, the, the cereal well, setup. I'm pretty happy with that delivery. And they should be. I would have been mighty pleased to drink that. <laughs> All right. So the, the breakfast setup was milk, then cereal, then plate. Ah, that's right. And then a dirty fork straight out of the sink. <laughs> Na naturally. Naturally. We're going to go back here and get fuel. I'm only at 258 out of 800 fuel. And we're going to swap pilots. I want Valter to fly. And then we are going to go fly down and check out the bar. That is a shout out to Nodak Express Gaming in this video game. And if this looks at all at all interesting to you, definitely check out the game. I, I've been having a lot of fun flying it. Like it's it's pretty low stress, which I appreciate, of course. Let's see. All right, we need fuel. How bad is it? Ugh, almost two gold. Jeez. Fine. Inventory. Let's get those out of here. Now, wait, hang on. What can I assign this gal to? 20% field repair rate due to quality tools. Oh, okay. So she can, like, while the plane is getting shot down and dealing with pirates, she can help fix it better. A rare tendency to drop ingredients from time to time. Well, that's no good. We don't want that. Cargo transfers cost nothing. Oh, that's helpful. Hmm. Uh, brew. Let's see. A bar. Assign her as the bar manager, maybe. Yeah, might as well go ahead and put her in the bar manager to improve bar sales. Okay. And we'll go ahead and swap our pilot and co-pilot. Mm -hmm. All right. Co. Pilot to Francie. There we go. Felix the Cat, you got to fly in a B-25 a few months ago? That is awesome. I have always liked the B-25. I don't think I've ever actually seen one flying before, though. I see a lot of them in museums and that sort of thing. That is awesome. Surprisingly small inside, I bet. Like, even just looking at how narrow they are at the museums and stuff. Let's see, so I think we've got... Yeah, plane is, uh... Oops, I didn't want to load the plane. Okay. Should be good to go, and we're gonna go down to where... The special bar is. Which means we've got a little bit of a path ahead of us here. A little bit of a little bit of a journey. People were a lot smaller back then. <laughs> All right, water boost, get us airborne. Now, if you don't remember this this game's gimmick, we've got like a water boost sort of function here. Basically blast water out of the back to make us go faster. We've got a water bomb that I don't remember being in the demo at all. Just dropped one on like some neighborhood there. Sorry everybody. But you can like harvest crops with your airplane. The wheat. We've also got like water machine guns basically where, uh oh. There we go. I don't think I've tried Space Engineers yet, uh, Sunscriber. Uh, sniper guy, good to see ya. And then, there, I've, there's actually, like, there's some, like, mini games built into this now where, uh, there's, like, there'll be sunken, like, crashes out at sea, like, ships. And you can, like, recover cargo from them. It's pretty cool. Right, we need to go southeast. That's where we're going right there. Speed it up a little bit here. No, you know, we're, we're at a really interesting time right now uh, for just games. Anybody playing PAL World seems to be taking, 
taking the world by storm here. Oh, we just littered a bunch of like brochures and stuff in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I should have been fined a lot more for that. Oh wow, we're at a half a star of fame at this point. Okay. Pal World, yep, yeah, got some Pal World players. I haven't played it yet, but it's on my wish list. It looks interesting. Uh, and then Enshrouded just came out, which I've been playing quite a bit of and having a lot of fun with. This is coming out here pretty soon. I also just got a code again from the developers of uh, Arms, Arms Tycoon or Arms Race Tycoon Tanks. I can't, I can't recall. Uh, so I gotta, I'll, I'll check that one out. It's you're you're building tanks and like the industry to support them. Seems kind of interesting. And then what is it, Masters of the Skies or whatever that? <laughs> I can't even remember the name of the show. Cormac, huh? Okay. That, uh, that recently came out. Is this the one I need to go to? I think this is where Rugs. well, almost Rugs. You'll see. Oop, there we go. Yeah, this is it. Right in front of us here. Droog's place. We're nearing a city. <laughs> that is a direct shout out to the Rug. After I played this on stream, I don't even know, a year or two ago, I reached out to them just kind of with some, you know, some thoughts and offered to help and that sort of thing. They, they declined, but that's fine. And they, uh, they put Droog's place in here. And I haven't landed at it. I haven't been to it. I... I cannot imagine that it's going to be a German Shepherd in there, you know, like at the bar. Um, but man, I'll tell you what, whatever this bar owner needs is getting taken care of. We're, we are taking care of Droog's place. They could, oh, you know, I hope that, I, I don't know, you know, I am totally fine if they just want to call it Roog's place. So it, you know, it could be a little bit more of a direct call out, but... He chose not to, and that's totally fine. Maybe they'll update that before before the game formally releases. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Promoting littering and drunkenness. I know, and I at least I get fined, you know, for that happening. I almost went bankrupt when I came flying around out here before. I kind of didn't appreciate how fast those fines were adding up, and man, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> All right, let's see the bar. Who, who did they select as Droog? Hmm, okay, all right. Oh boy. <laughs> you don't look like you belong here. Who are you? This is Droog's place. That would be me, the owner. Now what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, small talk, really? Those pirates came in here one day saw how well I managed the hardened patrons in my bar and offered me a job to lead one of their divisions for some serious Ooh. coin. Seems their group is pretty loaded with money, which might explain their vast fleet, though I have no interest in that life. My mugging days are long behind me. Now I'm all about breaking bones of those that skip their drink tab. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Rug, no doubt. <sighs> <laughs> All right. You barons have made a bit of a name for yourself. I've heard of your work. Okay, I'll give you a chance and send an order, but only when I feel like it. You know, to be fair, this guy kind of looks like like a dog of some variety. I don't. I, I'm not even sure. Okay. Well, more small talk. Whenever those pirates come into my bar, they stink up the place with a nasty smog residue that sticks to your clothes and dirties the floors with bits of dried, crumbled oil. My patrons and I got used to the smell, but those oil bits can really mess up delicate electronics or machinery if they get inside. So if you're going to engage the pirates, steer clear of their smog so as not to damage your plane. 
Plus, I don't want you tracking even more of that smog oil in here either. All right, all right. We'll 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 wipe our feet, Droog. It's cool. No big deal, buddy. Local news, what do we got? Bartender review of Ina. Hydro propulsion, uh, fuel the future, fuel of the future, overhyped and dangerous. Oh, that's a good question. Um, bartender, can we click on any of this? No. All right. Well, seems like this is, so we've got Droog's place here. I mean, standard cookie cutter sort of bar stuff. Yeah, it does look like a bulldog, a bit like a bulldog. Yeah. I'd like to think that he'd be, you know, friendly dude if, I, if he was a person. He'd probably be a little... He'd probably be a little quiet to be a bartender, frankly. But you'd you'd know you'd know that he'd he'd wreck you if you got a little too uh, got a little too unruly. So okay, well he didn't offer us any jobs right now. Oh gosh, and it's nighttime already. Good. All right. Do we have any contracts at this point? Oh yeah, we do. Brandy. You want mint shroom? Four days to complete and four days for me to accept it. Mint shroom. Okay, I'm gonna try and fly around and find. Well, hang on. Did this give me? I don't even know where to find mint shroom. Vanilla reeds, tangerine wheat. I don't even know. Oh yeah, there's a giant plane flying around over here. Like a boss airplane. I'll definitely make a video about that. So I don't even know where to find mint shroom. Let's see. See, I haven't even been to these places. Alright, well. Until we find mint shroom, I don't think that there's much that we can do to help Rug. Am I just missing it? Dandy wheat. No. Maybe we'll continue exploring some of these other islands. See if we can discover mint shroom down south here. All right. I will also say that you can uh, reverse the pitch on your propeller. So we should be. We're going in reverse right here. Just so we don't go directly. Oh, come on now. All right. That was not what I wanted. We re we re-engaged with the docking, I guess. Got dark fast, yeah it did. No. <laughs> so I got some kinks to work out. There we go. Now we are out of here. I was mint shroom. Where would that be? Oh. We'll probably just fly southeast and see what sort of trouble we can get into. Maybe go take down some of the pirates over at these other places. Ooh. We can, we can pick up stuff. Oh, we're going to litter on your beach. And then we're going to collect some stuff off of the beach. <laughs> Someplace cold, you think? I don't know. There's not a ton of... Uh... There we go. One gold, 16 silver. That's not bad. So yeah, this is not... Ooh, they float away. That's tricky. Dandelion wheat. There's some very unique types of wheat and different crops in this game. Yeah. Get that coin, there we go. I spotted something right over there. Yeah, you spotted it as we flew over it? Well done. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're just kind of stuck on all these islands. All right. We'll head down here first. 
Hope everybody's doing well. I had uh, a whole lot of fun playing Enlisted there for quite a while. I still want to do a stream with the Dauntless. But, uh... I've been playing this for a while now. Dairy Defender, welcome back. Good to see you. It has been a while, yeah. Randomly littering to increase my fame in the middle of the ocean. So that's how we roll. Is there just one pirate plane down here? Because that would be awesome. I had to fight two of them for that island that Rogue was on. You know, I've been doing pretty good, Dairy Defender. Uh, I've been uh, doing a little bit more flying here recently. Just, you know, general aviation. Small planes. And uh, I'm supposed to go up tomorrow, actually. And uh, I've been kind of thinking about um, getting back into some just flight instruction. Um, which I have not done in a long, long time. So... Can't see it. Ooh. Ah, all right. Yeah, these pirate, these pirate ships will try and shoot me down. Pirate planes, rather. And they are pretty effective at it. If we don't get out of here, which if you're still here, we since attack. since I'm just really trying to help out Rug, we're gonna cruise right on past for now, just so we can discover. Hopefully try and find that mint shroom. I don't know. Dealing with tons of issues on your end of things? Oh, sorry, Dairy Defender. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully things that are overcomable. Or things that, you know, can be adapted to, you know. Let's see... Yeah, Pal World, though, I saw um, quite a bit of discussion when I mentioned that. Uh, it seems like, you know, it's Pokemon plus Ark, some survival stuff, and uh, it's. Oh, those look like big mushrooms. And uh, just, it, it seems really interesting. It seems charming, but then, you know, you see. You see the, you know, the videos of it. We've reached an island. Island of Pukip. And, you know, it's got, like, some stuffed animal-looking Pokemon thing behind a M2 Browning 50 Cal, you know? <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Felix. Yeah, jeez. Well, obviously, you can guys stick with it. Hang in there. Whatever's going on is, it's manageable. Anything is manageable. If you ever wanted to be in the military, you will learn, <laughs> you will learn that well. Oh, a royal truffle, yeah, that's not what we need. Darn it, sea pickle. Dang, all right, well. I don't even know. Dandewheat. Let's see. Some other type of wheat right here. Our propeller probably won't be strong enough to harvest. I don't yeah. think our equipment can collect this item. Lemon barley. Some sort of radishes or something. Got into the Civil Air Patrol. All right, Felix. That's great. Oh, we have a random ship down there. We can shoot and bomb the ships. We get in trouble for it. <laughs> the old skidding bomb. I oh. spotted something. It's over there. Oh, that was a... Oh, okay. So that ship seems to be crashed. 
or disabled somehow. Get it with the bomb? Nope, missed it. Okay. I saw a few others. You can give penguins shoulder-mounted free-firing rockets. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, see? You know, that is what Pokemon needed to be doing for all these years. Go collect whatever. It looks like we've got some random bottles floating. This is a good way to collect you know, stuff. Dim lemon beer. I spotted something. It's over there. Summer brandy. Good. I gotta say, you know, I am I'm just a light beer. Light beer for me. I joke about it sometimes, but yeah, no, bush light. That's, that's pretty much how I roll. What do we have to do? Land? I've bombed it. I've strafed it. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we're going back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Smooth landing. I got credit for a smooth landing. We are in the process of a crash. Here we go. Civil Air Patrol is great, Felix, uh, you know, particularly if you can kind of get involved with their, like, flying groups. Or, you know, even if you just want to do, like, rocketry. I forget what they call it. Something like that. Uh oh, yeah, so yeah, we're getting fined. Getting fined out of nowhere for something that's not helping me. 200 meters off the ground. Jeez. You know what? What is happening? Light collision. Damage sustained. Ugh. What do I have to do? It's not good for the airplane. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Crashing into a parked boat. Not good. I don't know. I must have to do something. I mean, it's like highlighted red, like there's a mission or something. I don't know. All right. Well, the point is, okay, there's a shipyard down here. Is there a bar? Yeah, there's a bar. The Black Barrel. see all right let's go ahead and go back let's go work on clearing gap lift real quick well gosh i want to i really want to get rug taken care of I spotted something right over there all right water boost i spotted something right over there spotting all sorts of helpful things when it's not helpful to us when did twitch start forcing random ad breaks I don't know. You know, I didn't stream much for like a year there, so maybe it's something that I can turn off. I'm not sure. I am not sure. I wish it would at least warn me beforehand. You know, like, hey, by the way. Here we go, just made money from the bar. One gold and something. Paid out at midnight. There's something big flying up above us. This guy gets like a speed boost when he's boosting into a climb. Volter does. We're at 500, 500 meters. If we get too high. Level is minor. 
Well, Felix, by golly, happy birthday just a little bit early. I feel like the channel anniversary is here in about two and a half, three weeks, something like that. I think it was February 13th, if I remember that. Taking off. Thanks for stopping by, Felix. Good to see you. This right has there. been just a great kind of relaxing. Oh, there we go. I spotted something right over there. Finally, we, you know, <laughs> papered something that was. Uh, I spotted something right over there. We actually dropped those flyers on a landmass. <laughs> I have seen whales out here. So they definitely oh, might be one jumping right there. Yeah, it could have been. February 13th. I think I think it was February 13th. Yeah, I did a stream or channel anniversary or channel birthday like stream of this game a year or two ago. And I feel like it was February 13th. But I don't, I don't recall for sure. Yeah, pretty cool to see Droog's place there. I want to get him taken care of, but of course, being the high class gentleman that he is, he's got, you know, some random request of stuff that I don't even know how to make. <laughs> that's, that's Droog's bar for you. Hey, this is a new island to me. I haven't been over here yet. There is something awfully big off to my two o'clock. Like a blimp connected to the ground. We've reached an island. Dirigible. I don't even know. Well, they haven't warned me about bad guys here yet. Ooh! Minshrew. I feel like that's what he needed. Yeah, Minshrew. Okay. All right. How do we collect it? How do we collect it? That one ten twenty eight guy resubscribed. Subscribed for twenty eight months now. My goodness, ten twenty eight guy. Good to see you. <laughs> Jeez, twenty eight months. Yeah. So it might. What happened? Marioth Watchtower. In fear of a southern coastal attack, the Marioth government constructed this tower to keep watch for any invading warships, particularly of Del Holden nationality. Since the invention of the plane, these watchtowers have become obsolete, now serving as a reminder of the long-standing feud between the Marioth and Del Holden nations. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, you know, we didn't look at it in this. But uh, th there's a there's like a story going on here about these pirates being from two nearby countries, like mainland countries, and how uh, our little area is. I don't think our equipment can collect this item. Bomb level three. Jeez. Okay. So that's a pumpkin. Where? Okay, tomatoes. I don't think our equipment can collect this item. All right. Get down lower to kind of replenish our ammo here. We might have to go back to base, upgrade, come back. So we got a couple days to do it here to get Droog taken right care of, but. Fruit Fin Cider. I just need to know what I need. I haven't even seen these, whatever it is, mint shrooms. 
I mean, I, I'm guessing they would be on the ground. I don't want to spoil anything, no spoilers for anybody, but some of these materials are actually up in the sky. I had to ask for <laughs> help for that on their, uh, like, Steam discussion page, because I just had no idea. Some sort of mission up there we can go investigate. Let's see. Yeah, 1028 guy. No, no worries being late. It wasn't, you know. <laughs> There's never any pressure with any of my stuff. I spotted something right over there. Great. Spot some mint shroom. I sure have not seen anything. I mean, there are some like little flowers in the trees. For the most part, yeah, I see, I see stuff glowing down there. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up in the air, I think. Salty black vodka. Got a little bit of cash. I don't even see like a community on this island. All right, I'll go look out there then. Mint shroom. I mean, conceivable that it would be like airborne, I guess. I don't know. Getting tired. So is there something that I can shoot? Maybe a slightly different looking tree. Those were the tomatoes. Said I couldn't do anything with those. Night has been going on forever. This game is beautiful during the day. Just need the sun to come up. I don't even think there are people here and we're just, you know, littering. Let's see. Yeah, mint shroom. Looks like, I mean, we apparently have not, either there is no city or we just have not discovered it yet. Yeah, sounds like something you'd get at a dispensary, right? Huh. Alright, well. So we just got fined again. We'll climb up high and see if we can find a jet stream. Maybe D oh, there's one. I don't know how close it is. Hell, yeah, that might be. Here, we'll go see what this person wants. Also, this will this will either give us like an extra task. Yeah, here we go. This was got to this first. Yeah, there's something in here. Come on, mint shroom. Mint shroom. It's airborne. Air collection level three. All right, we gotta head back to base. Mint shroom is an aerosol based. <laughs> it's like a, it's a, it's a bio weapon. All right. We got, man, I don't know if we're gonna have enough money. 
I mean, let alone the time, like, we've only got a certain number of days to accept that contract, and then we have to deliver on it within another certain number of days. Low enough to get some more of our boost juice, basically. By the way, if anybody's ever thought, you know, like, water would be, you know, a great, like, actual boosting thing, it's so tremendously heavy that it, it would not work very well. Yeah, we're gonna try and avoid them. Yeah, the problem is I'm Why did you come back? I'm not out. a pig, so I can't find the mushrooms. The problem was the mushrooms were in the air. <laughs> I ran into that with a type of wheat too. It'd be kind of cool, and and maybe there is, and I just haven't discovered it. Oh, I'll be back. Don't worry. That uh, you know, if there was just like a. A general store you could go to and be like, look, I don't know where to find mint shroom, but I'm just going to go buy it from some dude, you know. Eight pounds per gallon. Yeah, it's so, it's so heavy. Let alone something like this, you know, like that being an additional propulsion mechanism. Oh, there's another whale. Oh gosh, yeah, he is tired. Wow. I actually might land and swap them, because he might not make it. So I think they can they can change pretty much anywhere. Smooth landing there. At least I think they can. You're not gonna let me swap out here? Oh gosh, she's getting tired. We just need something we can kind of dock at. Boy, I did not realize how woefully exhausted he was getting. We need something, anything, shipwreck. Gonna be a lot closer than it needs to be. That looks like it might be a ship. Is that a ship? Banks over here. If we can't make it back. Oof. Alright, there we go. Seven. Six. His his energy continues to go down, you can see by his face. Wheat and shrooms are up high. Yeah. Some wheat is on the ground, though. Pilot check. Fatigue is severe. You're gonna pass out. I know. I'm trying to land, believe me. I'm just gonna crank it in here. Crank it in. I hope we don't crash if we do that. And then we gotta pay for all this stuff. We're gonna go straight in over here. We're gonna go land at this bar. Get a quick shot. Then we're gonna be fine. Very smooth landing. I can tell you've done this before. Ooh boy. Get in here and dock. Dock. Oh gosh, alright. Swap pilots, there we go. <laughs> We made it! Hey, I think I see an island. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's get... <laughs> Minor emergency averted. We actually went further than we needed to, but there's no way he could have gotten us on the ground over here without crashing the plane, costing me 45 gold to fix it. Even rough landings, you can damage the plane. Okay, well, so, you know, we learned from that other gal that sometimes the other pilots will just be sitting in these bars. Uh, hmm. Our poor plane. Sad we let the old girl get this scratched up. Plane is doing fine, sir. All right, let's see. I bet we can't do any upgrades. 
I forgot what it was. Air collection. Gosh, yeah, we need five gold. Air collection level two, 12 gold. Air collection level three, 28 gold. Sorry, sorry, Droog. <laughs> We're, we are, uh, we are not going to be able to help out right now, man. Yeah, exactly. Should be able to just pull over and take a nap. I agree. Jeez. Okay, well. Five gold. What we, I mean, we don't have... That's our only contract option. We just don't have the money to do it. So, what we're going to probably do is just rest for a little while. And what is it? 7.15 a.m.? We can rest for 24 hours. That's fine. Spotter. What is his thing? What does he get us? Expert in wind currents and gains extra speed. Do we try and get him? Yeah, we will uh, we'll put him as the bar manager. Huh? Oh, okay. And we'll put her, because she's got that field repair rate. Which she's good at. Oh, they are friendly, it seems. They have some sort of flight time thing going. I, I don't know. All right, and then we're gonna rest for a bit and see if we get some new orders. And we have any new contracts? Oh gosh, yeah we do. Astral Spirits wants brandy, beer, beer, sweet weed, and daco nut. What is that? Astral Spirits wants brandy. Do we even have, do I even have the stuff for brandy? This is ridiculous. Yeah, I totally should have been able to land and just take a nap, okay? That was ridiculous. Have I made brandy before? Does not look like it. Recipes. Apple brandy. Apple and grape. enough all right I'm gonna have to just do some of these missions but what I might go do right now uh, let's see we need to repair the old plane a little bit Good. Refuel. I mean, frankly, that should be fine. Wish I could easily take that pontoon off, but anytime I want to modify this thing, I had a regular pontoon before, but let's say that I wanted to change my, you know, wings or, you know, the pontoon. We've got publicity flyers. That's what I've got turned on. Increased capacity, but also periodically fined for littering. I could go with uh, minus 30% damage received on these, but it costs me these mechanical gear things. And I don't have a ton of those. I've only got 22. And then this, coin detector. But the, the point is, like, at some point, these, I had these, and they were taken off of this plane. But it's not like I just get to put them back on, you know. So... Yeah, that's okay. I don't I don't need any changes saved. What we might go do is go work on shooting down some bad guys. Gunship patrol. Daco nut. I saw that some of our people were looking for that stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't want to save those changes, so let's see. There we go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go dogfight this thing, by golly! And last time I did some dogfighting, I was against like a. I don't 
even know. I mean, it kind of functioned like a Catalina. It had the two side gunners. All right, southwest. And these two flying together will hopefully get us something good in the long run. See this right here, this? There's a type of wheat up there that I yeah, could not find. Oh man, certainly looks to be, yeah, a hostile blimp right there. Is that where we're going? No, it just says gunship patrol, so we'll see what happens. Well, she was at least aware of it. Yeah, I don't know. Boy, okay, I had planned to just come over here and whoop up on some people. But if that, if that thing is right over top of it, I've never even gotten close to one of those. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what it's got. Something tells me it's going to be bad. I just want to deal with the fighters, okay? Not the whole carrier. Anybody do any of those, like, 4X space games where you've got, like, a space... You know, like a space armada and, like, a carrier, like, home world? Ooh. Can we land up there? Is that a friendly? Mark it to Barrett. You're clear to take any green hook. Over. What? That, that's exactly what I was talking about. I thought these were bad guys. Ah, oh, man. Okay, yeah. That is awesome. These things look way too scary to be floating markets, you know? <laughs> How do we do this? No idea what we're doing. Oh, gosh. Okay. Whoa. That was something. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is kind of cool. Oh, okay, coffee beans. Uh, those peppers were needed in some stuff. Small f materials. Ugh, yeah, I could use those. What? My plane is in here and it's just... <laughs> it's just chucking those... <laughs> those flyers? <laughs> Sir, you're gonna need to get out. You, you need to get out of here. I'm so sorry. How many can I have? Oh my gosh, I can buy... Wow, okay. That's a... That's a big deal. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get some more of those. Alright, well. And then transfer. I could ship stuff back to the brewery. Yeah, and because of the pilot, Francie, this doesn't cost anything. Here we go, boom. Alright! I had no idea those things were friendly. Dear, I was thinking, are you looking for any other pilots? Think of all the time we could spend together if I joined. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. But those those 4X games like Homeworld or something where you've got to build like a whole fleet and got to protect the carrier and that sort of thing. I really like that. That sort of those types of games. How do I... Yeah, there we go. All right. There's my my hook. My parasite fighter landing hook. There's the two pirates. These guys... Last time I tried to fight these, it was over Droog's Island, and they smacked the heck out of me. Frankly, I think our best bet is going to be... ...to get close to them first... What my boost stuff is also my ammo. The time, um, we shoot very soon. Hey, why you shoot first? I shoot first. 
supposed to be really good at repairing it, lady. These guys will drop like this smog thing that'll like shut off my engine. It is ridiculous. He's gonna do it. There. He's running away. Good. That's one down. You shoot me. My boss. Very angry. I go. <laughs> Soup, good to see ya. Welcome back. You catch us in the middle of a riveting float plane battle. Against some pirates. Build up some more speed and then get up there. That guy will. C oh, I didn't even gather all the stuff from that guy. See you going for it. Come on. Oh, ads. Ads in the middle, in the middle of combat. Keeping the War Thunder Squadron alive? That's great, Soup. I, I mean, I'd still periodically, you know, I'll get back to War Thunder eventually, but it's just, it's, it's a seasonal thing for me. Come on. The plane has a little bit of damage now. The plane has a lot of bit of damage, actually. Community night. No, not going to be doing any more community nights. Tell you that. Oh, it's running. That gunship is no longer a threat. Excellent. Hey. Um, stop that. I could get hurt. I'm going to tell my boss on you. Wait here. <laughs> Another island liberated from the fire. <laughs> there we go. We got him. So now we can land down here and see whatever this place is. Community night when, man, those were. You'd have to re-download War Thunder. Oh. Oh, a sunken wreck. These are awesome. Yeah, even I, even I keep War Thunder downloaded, you know. There we go. Pirates are gonna report me to HR. I know. Like, I haven't actually shot anybody down or, like, you know, inflicted harm on any of them. They run away. And so I kind of wonder if that's what happens, you know, with all of this. Which makes sense to me. Like, this doesn't seem like the sort of game where, like, you know, we strafed somebody in a parachute after they bailed out, you know? <laughs> Salvage. This is one of those, the mini games I was talking about. Okay, so we have a pretty powerful, oh gosh, we got sharks. Pretty powerful winch here. And we can pick up all of these boxes. Start with the medium, maybe start with the medium sized one. Can we get the hook around it? Come on. There we go. 
The sharks will attack these boxes. Excuse me. So we got we got to get it up and keep it away from the sharks. Could be money in here, could be equipment. Could be six gold. Bam. All right, we got some other stuff down here. Looks like we got two other boxes. And that little, that blue right there, that's, that's going to have fish in it. I've purchased that upgrade so that I can do some fishing every time I stop for these salvage. If anybody picks this up, upgrade your salvage went winch. Salvage winch, excuse me. Fast. It is worth it. <laughs> Poop deck rules for pirate? No. Ah, gosh darn it. That could have been something good, too. That was a big box. All right. This is the large one, though. This should be the most valuable. Well, or most substantial, anyway. Oh, oh he's going for it. No, 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 no. Gosh darn it. God. I'm going to start sending Volter. I'm going to start sending Volter down there to... I don't even know. Yeah. Talking about pirates. Pirates in the wench. <laughs> I have... I have called it a wench many a time while playing this thus far. And not, not always intentionally, just, you know. Okay, we gotta go down more. Come on, hook it. There we go. Sharks are gonna eat it anyway. It doesn't even matter what my strategy is. Get up there. Up. All right, we got some assorted sea creatures here. Good. Gosh. Still can't believe we didn't didn't get either of those other ones. All right, where was I going? Map contract. Oh yeah, I can I can accept contracts from here. Yep. <laughs> it's still in beta. There we go. All right. Okay, okay. So... Let's head down to that island. Let's check out these two islands while we're down here. And we've got plenty of gas. Oops. Start the engine with I. Throttle with shift. There we go. So yeah, other than PAL world, which we've been chatting about. Anybody playing anything fun? Has it, is anybody else playing in Shrouded? Anybody even heard of it? Submarine planes when? <laughs> I agree. What was this bar called? Ivory Chamber. Seems much too presumptuous for me, frankly. Been playing the finals soup, you know? I seem to remember hearing some people talk about that. Oh, that one's got a lot of uh, pollution stuff coming out of it. I bet that's a pirate. Is there a crate right there? Nope, just the ship. Uh, I, I remember seeing people talking about that. Um, but I haven't, I haven't heard much about it, or I'm not even that familiar with what it is, to be honest. Fun fact, there are more planes in the ocean than submarines in the sky. <laughs> you got dug into City Skylines. Yeah, 1028 guy. The City Skylines 2 just came out, is that right? Well, recently came out anyway. Yeah, I deserve to be fine for that one. Just right over the ocean. Yeah, see, and to clear this island, we're going to have to fight that thing. Oops. Did we land right there? No, we did not. Okay. We've reached an island. 
Zolly. I, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to do some City Skyline stuff, particularly just for Sir Mavery. And I... Okay. Listen up, little plane. This island belongs to the pirates. You have 60 seconds to get out of here, or I'll blow you to bits. It's just rude is what that is. I'll be back when I'm much more competent. Have a lot more gold. Significantly more capable. Black and white rum. See, I wonder what we're going to have to do to take that thing down. It'll probably have some weak spots or something. It'll be like a Zelda boss, you know. Okay. <laughs> Finals is a tournament between teams of three to fight each other, make the most money. Interesting. Yeah, I have not wanted for choice recently, but with... Yeah, I mean, just with the weather this time of year, like... Finding the time to, like, go and fly, and then plus regular work, plus family time, plus some ge plus some games and stuff. It's just, it's taking a lot. Oh, those look like pirate planes. We got a couple pirate planes. We are still damaged from the last pirate encounter. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. It is not a good idea. Not right now. Not with how damaged we are. And we've got four contracts pending, so we will probably head back. Fog is... <laughs> the fog has been thicker than J-Lo, you say, 1028 guy. <laughs> and I hadn't thought about Jennifer Lopez in a long time. My goodness. so cool the big floating market I know and I know that there are there are other ones like I've seen them on the other side of the main island too so I know they're out there Pio boss you'd like to petition the US government to extend the day cycle by four more hours <laughs> I like it it's gonna be dark you know which I'm down for. I'm, I'm down for that. Oh. Let's see what this guy says. This is some sort of job. Sky buzzer to Barons. There's a group of pirate refuel balloons rolling by. Mind shooting some of them down? Over. And I think I can make monoplanes too. Float monoplanes, by the way. Pirate balloons. What? Oh my gosh, these? We need more, we need more ammo. I've been very patient with you, but now your time is up. Open fire all guns! You had your chance to leave, but now I will squash you like a bug! Really not. I don't want that. Oh gosh. Okay. I see. I see a blue. Oh, we got. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It shoots. Shoots a lot. Ooh. I think. Uh, I think it might behoove us just to get out of here. <laughs> 
This was a misunderstanding. I thought I would get another minute. Oh gosh. I thought I would get another minute warning. That sounded like a big mean explosion, okay? Not a lot of balloons up there. Yeah, but pardon me while I run away and spread my, you know, spread my fame. Yeah, daylight savings time. Yeah, we, we're, we're not doing that here. Yeah, r running away. Definitely running away. We'll go start exploring up north a little bit. I haven't been up there. Looks like a big old island. Problem is how far we are from everything. I mean, that's... Well, I should really go back. I should really go back and actually fulfill some of these contracts. <laughs> See, we're almost out of time to shoot down those balloons. Slappins, you gotta go spend some time like in Alaska or something if you want it to be sunset for a whole day. Yeah, that's fine. Failed, I know. Big old failure in my broken float plane. Littering in the ocean. About how great I am. Thank goodness for that water boost, because that was not aerodynamically possible, what we just did. <laughs> yeah, sunsets all fun and games until you have to drive west. Yeah. Slappins, I feel like you'd know all about the driving side of things, right? <laughs> oh, let's see. It's either noon or just straight up midnight, huh? Okay, all right. I thought there was a little more. Stuff in the middle. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do some of these tasks to keep our paying the fine funds available. Yeah. I bravely ran away from that. That's exactly right. <laughs> There's another content creator who I don't remember. Like he was just kind of. I'm not even talking to you guys, but he was starting his channel like at about the same time I was, and he and I just chatted on Twitter a little bit. And he led to some of the landing challenges I did up in Alaska, but it was like Flight Sim Alaska was the channel I think. And he was from there. He is still, I think. I mean, I think he's still around. Um, but he was giving, like, guided tours of, you know, areas in Alaska in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It was, it was pretty cool. You dropped some cargo, Ina. And once again, my main pilot is hilariously exhausted here. Dang it. Yeah, tactical retreat. It was a brave tactical retreat. Dang it. We might just... Pilot check. Fatigue level is moderate. Fatigue level is... She's basically fallen asleep, okay? But once I put her in the back seat, she's still going to be tired. Here, this is the bank, I think. Go right through it. Great landing. I'm glad you're the one at the controls. There we go. Oh, bank is closed. No problem. Swap pilots. Boom. Uh, map and contracts here. Okay, we'll do this one. Brandy, and we need apple. Sweet weed, we don't have any of yet. All right. 
So let's go collect some more apple. I, you know, whatever other ingredients we're going to need, we know we're going to need more apple. Fatigue approaching, approaching soup speed levels. <laughs> the finals week, huh? Ugh. Yeah, I don't miss, I don't miss finals. I think apples were over here, mostly. Thirsty sailor. Getting dark again already. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Go down here and get some wheat. I feel like. Oh no, they wanted special kinds of wheat. They didn't just want prickly wheat. That's right. Okay. The only finals Nodak misses our approaches. <laughs> I actually, so when you're flying, there's a specific kind of approach that's called a back course uh, in an instrument landing system. Um, and it's it's kind of unique how you have to fly a back back course. It's, it's confusing for some pilots depending on how the plane is equipped. And I think I'm gonna do like a short, still, still make a short, you know, for people who enjoy those things. But do one of those like shooting, <laughs> Shooting an aisle, a back course inverted, uh, which is really gonna, it's gonna significantly change how you control the airplane. So, you know, it'll be Microsoft Flight Simulator or something, but it'll be a, it'll be a little fun one. We'll see what happens there. I've actually got Microsoft Flight Simulator like updated and everything. You know, it, it's been, it's, been kind of strange. Um, like I haven't played. We are going really slow. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator much at all. I haven't done much with DCS for a while. You know, since like my I had surgery and I flew the Huey and that sort of thing. And um, I I got that Thrustmaster Hotas, and I got the the uh, the throttle setup that goes with it for the for the warthog and that like the complexity of it completely made me not interested in playing those games and uh now that i've um i i uninstall i unplugged them i don't even have them sitting by the computer anymore and i've got the old logitech <laughs> Lo Lo what is it? Uh, Logitech uh, 3D Pro? Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. I've got that back out. And because I, I know how to work the camera with it, and you know, it's got the separate throttle and stuff like that. And it's like, I'm kind of like almost motivated to start playing some of those aviation games again, knowing that the controls alone aren't going to be like overly daunting just to making the video. <laughs> so. Three days since you've played, Pio Boss. What what do you normally fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator? What uh, hey, are you? Uh, everything okay? You're looking a uh, bit uh, uneasy. We got story. By golly, we got story here. Could you tell? Uh, yeah. Of all this flying around and brewing, I'm still not totally used to all of it, and sometimes my nerves get the better of me. Don't get me wrong. It's worthwhile stuff. I think I just need to take a breather. I sense you've been feeling this stress for a while. You could say that. I tend to overthink stuff. Like things I should do, shouldn't do, should have done. Say or not say. Ugh. It all adds even more stress. It sounds like you're in desperate need of a break. Actually, I could use one too. How about you and I go unwind at one of the local bars? What? I don't really drink, like, almost never. Is that okay? That is totally fine, Ina. No problem at all. Ina, you're overthinking it again. Do not pressure her, Francie. Oh, sorry. I should have said, er, uh, 
I mean, yes, that sounds good. No, Ina, you do not need to give in to Francie's pressure. If you don't want to drink, that is totally fine. That's better. Let's head over to the Opal Retreat. I think they rarely get busy, so it might actually make for a relaxing outing. Maybe you go upstairs to the bar that is like 10 feet above the airplane and you have like a free drink. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Fly to the Opal Retreat and talk to Henry. What is that? What is that even? What? What? What is happening? <laughs> I don't... I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> I don't even know what the Opal Retreat is. Gosh. Is that something? Is, is that a... Is that a place? My goodness. Here, I tell you what. I see, I see a button here in the stream thingy. No, that, no, that's not right. That starts an ad. We don't want that. All right, well, hang on. Let's see, what is... Opal. So we, yeah, we still don't even know where this, oh gosh. Oh, wait, what is that? There's a symbol right there. I hope it keeps track of that task somewhere. All right. Brewery. Let's throw some liquid IV in that drink. Heck yeah. All right. Apple brandy. Gonna pin that. We're gonna go to recipes. Apple brandy. Bland. Brandy, brandy, hard apple. Do we have anything that's got some more stars? Summer brandy, ooh. Grape, apple, and honey. All right. So let's see here. Well, gosh, I, uh, 36 is all we have. How are we doing on honey at this point? Uh, we don't have, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. I gotta get, it's all in the airplanes inventory right now. Okay. I think we can, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Okay. We'll put, yeah, we've got a lot more apple than that now. At least we did. 78. Okay, recipes, create. There we go, okay. Ivy grape we need to put just put in all of it. Just everything we can. We got to keep that above 30%. Apple will go smooth like... I didn't count how many I put in. Shoot. All right. And then honey... All right, and then we've just got to fill that. Well, I don't know that we want to fill. Hmm. We're going to have to to keep the. No, no, no. We got plenty of apple. We're going to have to fill other things. Maybe for the grapes, since we don't have any more of it. Okay, grape is at 41% now. Do we go more honey? Yeah, we gotta get honey back up. This is gonna do it. But with apple being the highest percentage, I wonder if that's gonna be a problem. 
30% plus apple, 25% plus, and then honey. All right, let's see, let's see what happens. They want this to be between 14 and 22%, and it's gonna get distilled, I think. Chocolate water, you know what? It's probably an airborne ingredient that I haven't discovered yet. <laughs> I bet, I bet that's exactly what it is. 14 to 22, here we go. Yeah, right? When did this game become a brewing sim? <laughs> it's exactly, my thoughts exactly, Soup. But it is, it is a lot of fun. Okay, we are right, right in the correct area here. And they're looking for a brandy. Fingers crossed. Wild apple brandy. Oh, a new recipe. Okay, so apparently I did not follow. Well, I don't know. This stuff's pretty valuable. And we made 40 of them. Uh, we'll just random. Sure, there we go. I don't like the bottle weathering, frankly. We'll call it uh, Nodex. See, I've got my own bar that's called Nodex. And then I'm also like distributing alcohol to other bars that's also called Nodax. It's, I'm, I'm advertising my own bar just right in front of them, you know. Chocolate water, I prefer no pulp personally, but uh, you know, I, I understand that some people, <laughs> some people don't mind the pulp and the chocolate water, I get that. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Uh, okay, finish. There we go. And inventory. What was... I forget how many she even... How many she even ordered. 29 units. Yeah, that'll leave a few on board there. Good. What's happening in the bar anyway? Five ad soup? I'm, I'm sorry guys, I don't know if the, if the ads are something that I'm doing or what. Um, is there a patron we can talk to? Oh, it's kind of neutral. They say the mead was pretty good here and this is good but not great. All right, thanks Alice, I guess. And where was this? That doesn't look good. The plane is pretty damaged. Plane is doing great. All right. Everybody complaining about the two gold. Gosh. All right. Now we got to fly over to the other side of the island. By golly. Middle of the night delivery. Yeah. It's 11.30 p.m. in game right now. Fly to the Opal Retreat and talk to Henry. I don't know that I've seen a bar called the Opal Retreat or anything like that, so i genuinely not sure. Oh man, that looks like some storm clouds or something. I wonder if there's like bad weather in this. You know, this is like a coastal area with a bunch of islands. It would make sense that there could be like catastrophic weather from time to time. If you get pulp, no one else drinks it. Uh, that's, yeah, that's fair. I, I, you know, just left to my own devices. I buy, I buy no pulp chocolate water personally. <laughs> Orange juice, of course, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's been, it's been years since I've had even orange juice with pulp in it. The kiddo has discovered like the, uh, I forget what it's even called, but you we only made 62 coins at the bar yesterday. That's not good. Um, I think of it as like Nesquik or something like that, but you've got, you know, 2% milk or whatever, skim, vitamin D. And then you, you can mix in like 
chocolate stuff. She's discovered that and she loves well it. Nice she insists that she wants to help uh, stir it. And then, you know, there's there's never enough. There's never enough. You put three scoops in there, like it's it doesn't even look like milk anymore. Nope, not enough. Yeah, freebasing Nesquik. <laughs> It's so it's so crazy how bad things have gotten. My goodness. Astral spirits. I think this lady sees ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, she's got ghost patrons. No big deal. Nice to see you barons back. My spirit friends seem more energetic with your return. Perhaps you brought my brew order. Perhaps. Let's take a look then. Apple brandy. 15 gold. This good quality brew you've brought fills my spirit with joy. I thank you for bringing me this. Boom. Our contractual agreement is fulfilled, and my spirit seem to flow with positivity. Well done. Hey, hey. That's like the first time that I've like done one of these and not just had them talk a tremendous amount of smack, frankly. There's a ship on fire near Restive. A counter-offensive yields sh slow progress. The ongoing war between Merith and Del Holden appears to be deadlocked again. Hmm, okay. Pirate brews now in stock at the Black Barrel. Seems like Black Barrel could maybe use my assistance. Uh, just have to see. Fly? I think that delivery went great. Let's try and keep this up. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't decided. Let's see. Our contracts rest. Let's see. Yeah, I can't. I can't even gather those yet. I might have enough money to go and do some of the upgrades to the plane, though. Hmm. I don't know, and I'm not sure where this thing is. The Opal Retreat. Maybe we'll fly up here and check out check out a couple of these islands just until daylight here, and then we'll end it there. Cause I've gotta I've gotta figure out where these places are. You stopped nest quick. <laughs> When you tried it without milk. Oh man. So, uh, I used to do a lot of swimming, like, like way back, like high school swim team stuff. And, um, jello packets. People would frequently, like, eat or, you know, sniff a jello packet before, uh, like a, a big race, particularly if it was like a sprint event or something. Oh, <laughs> man. That was, that was never my cup of tea. I do remember one time, though, some guy on the team, I don't remember, but instead of, instead of a jello packet, he, he got a pudding packet. <laughs> he, he, like, tried to eat it. He didn't try to, like, you know, take it in through his nose, but, oh, man. It was, it was pretty awful. Lines of Jello, that's a new one. You know, it's just like pure sugar and then uh, gelatin, you know, to, to help like um, solidify it. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. Stupid kid stuff, you know how it is. <laughs> you, you look back on some of that stuff that everybody was just like, yeah, no, it's totally what we do. Let's see if they got anything. Let's see if they got anything for us. I'm coming in hot. 300 knots. 200. 150. We're going to stall into you. Whew. <laughs> like sniffing pixie sticks. Ugh. Gosh, I forgot about pixie sticks. Uh, cuddle squid. These things. Yeah, those peppers. Okay, so this this might still be the same of what we had, what was in here before. All right, well that's good. Ah, sorry guys, <laughs> just 
Dropped a bunch of flyers in your hangar. I apologize. Tide pods. Ugh. Yeah. I, I never... Yeah. Never understood that one. But, I mean, I can... I can appreciate that they feel somewhat interesting and that perhaps that seems interesting to some people, but man. Anybody eating those, oof. They're, they're lucky to be alive, frankly. It's over there. Had a classmate in high school snort the stuff on the outside of sour straws on a bet. I can't even visualize what that would be. Is this is this one tree like on fire? I have a water gun. I don't think our equipment Pearl like grapes. Item. Okay. Is there a city over here? Did I miss the city? Or is there just not one? That yeah, looks like there isn't one. Really soured the mood, soup. <laughs> Orbital Shrine, a place of spiritual teachings from long ago. Followers of this long forgotten spiral practice would sit under the perfectly spherical stone and claim to experience profound alignment with nature and the cosmic energy that flows throughout. Teachers of the shrine claimed they could lift the stone with one's mind, but only if sufficient monetary pledges were made. Ah, of course. You know, each island seems to have something like that on it. And... It's over there. You know, just looking at the map, and then knowing that each one of these islands has like some weird historical thing on it, I'm getting like uh, Full Metal Alchemist vibes, <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, well, actually, you know, this is a, all a giant... What, what did they call those things? Just alchemy symbols, is that? Ah, I, I can't remember, but you know, it's it's like a, a giant board that's gonna lead to magic somehow, you know? <laughs> I just know it. It's gonna happen. It's over there. Francie is good at spotting stuff. Walter, when he's in the back seat, dude sees nothing. Tangerine beer, all right. Not my sort of thing. There we go, heavy sugar beer. Old man is in the back seat sleeping. Yeah, and stealing our beers. Like one of his traits was that he will periodically st steal beer. Rude, man. Spotted. I think I see a sunken wreck. What? Hang on. Stop everything. If you can afford that upgrade, you know, where it's dropping the flyers, it is so worth it. Okay. I spotted something. It's over there. Thank you. It is so worth it just to keep your fame going up even while you're not, you know, not just running missions constantly. Sounds like your flight instructor, 1028 guy. <laughs> Ah, oh, great. More sharks gonna eat all my stuff. Yeah. Better get out of there. This one right here, this large one, this is mine. You guys can't have it. Once I get this hooking, come on. There we go. Just up, fast. Away from the sharks. No. Up, 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 up. Okay, good. Blonde Donda Wheat. A blue Swamp Gazer recipe. Wow, that's a five star. Spiced Apple Wine. I 
this out of here before it gets destroyed. Man, there's a lot of recipes in there. Whoa! Alright, we got a little... Dang it! Dang it! It's that little tornado thing going by. I wonder if we can get them both at once. I have never tried that. I would think that the winch would not be strong enough. Up! Oh, straight up! Shark! Shark? Yeah! We dodged it! You got nothing, shark! Nectar wine. Next hook, I'm getting that shark. Starlight coconut brandy. Rich chocolate wine? I... Ugh. Where's that shark gonna be coming from? Okay, going sideways. There we go. Ooh, 11 gold. Oh, and we beat that shark just barely. That was close. <laughs> 11 gold, though. That is a big deal. Now we'll see if we can get... Whatever this is. Oh, well. I mean, whatever might be in this. Shark's gonna be coming for it. We're going diagonally. Come on, come on. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Phew. All right. Definitely glad we stopped for that. Uh, inventory, what did we get? Small fin bass, cuddle squid, rainbow clam. All right. Well, it's not bad. Boop the snoot. Sharks are just the dogs of the sea. <laughs> Some of them will get you. I think I've mentioned it before, so it's not, it's not like a huge secret or anything but i am deeply uncomfortable in water i can't see the bottom of i'm a very good swimmer but i uh yeah i don't i don't swim in the ocean i don't like swimming in lakes rivers no thank you some pools that are cloudy i don't enjoy <laughs> just too much Jaws or something, I guess. I don't know. And that's okay. Still gonna teach the kiddo how to swim, right? Not, you know, it's kind of it's it's kind of tricky when you know you've got a kiddo, and particularly like in the formative years. Mm -hmm. Particularly if you're self-aware enough to understand that your fears are ridiculous, you know. Um, but trying to not impart those fears on the kiddo. Like, I don't, I don't want my daughter to know, like, how scared I am of, you know, the ocean. You know, she wants to go snorkel or she wants to, you know, go, you know, splash in the beach somewhere or something. Like, yeah, totally, let's go do that, you know, and not be like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle it. Oh man, soup. Nodak plays Subnautica. I I've actually thought about playing that, and you know it's it's not too bad. I know that there are some jump scares and stuff like that in it, um, but for the most part, it's like a well lit, pretty fun game. But uh, yeah, I just I I I have not found time to do that one just yet. Yeah. <laughs> A no, uh, a no for the lake weekend. Yeah, that is correct. I mean, I, I'll go to the lake, uh, and I'll go out on the boat as long as the driver of the boat is responsible with it. Like Far too many people there. think that they're indestructible in boats. Like that is not the case. I spotted something. It's over there. Is there another sunken wreck? Is that what I just heard her say? No. Okay. Um. And, uh, but, you know, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going swimming. Not doing it. And here, I don't know, a few months ago, maybe, I mean, maybe a year ago at this point. Frankly, like, the last three years all just kind of run together. There was, like, some kid out at, like, a, a cruise. I jumped off of the ship, like, supposedly on a bet or something. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they never found him. They never found his body. Like, it was at night. 
There's like a video of him like jumping off and then everybody being like, grab the life vest or the buoy or whatever. Boy, that, that worked out pretty darn slick. Yeah, he, he was gone too. Like it was, it was incredible how fast he disappeared into the dark from the spotlights of the ship and stuff. And then just, you know, the ship doesn't turn around fast, you know? We're, we're speed running this. Bring it on, shark. You got nothing. Okay, good. Butter crust beer. Orange truffle vodka. Ooh. Anybody tried? Like, what's what's what is the like strangest drink that any of you have had? And I understand that it may not be alcoholic. That's totally fine. I had uh, there's like a a jalapeno beer, which I guess is like a pretty common thing. Like that's that's not unheard of. Um, but I I I liked it. Like I like spicy and and hot food. Mushy pumpkin mead. But that would probably be it for me. I just, I don't drink much unusual stuff. Clam nectar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. No, oh, you. You. Dang it. Fireball. Yeah, Locke plays games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan either. I, I, yep, I hear you there. No. 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 Yeah, all right. We got him. Chocolate stout. And then a barbecue whiskey, huh? Okay. I don't know that I... I mean, stout's just... Yeah, just not my thing. Like I said, light... Light beer is more my speed. By the way, I wanted to point this out. This, this is actually kind of cool. But they, So they've got this photo mode... And, you know, there are great reflections in this game, but the photo mode can kind of give it, like, nightmares. The reflection is just an exact model, nearly exact model, of the plane. It's the same for the boats and stuff. <laughs> it's it's kind of cool how they did it, frankly, but, yeah, it's a it's a really pretty game. Here, hang on, we'll go, you know what, we'll get, we'll get a screenshot here. Zoom in just a little bit. Double resolution. Probably need to... Uh, let's go like that. Kapow. All right. Irish trash can. Basically an AMF, but with blue Caraco and a Red Bull sticking out of the top. Interesting. Peanut butter whiskey. Ooh. Where am I going? I forgot. Uh, going north at this point. Okay, northwest. Is there? Did we? Did we discover a city? No, we haven't. We haven't found anything here yet. I don't know that that's for lack of us looking. It just doesn't look like there's actually a town here, which makes sense. I mean, not every island is going to have a town. I get it. Cement mixer, Bailey's with lime juice. I, yeah, I've heard of that one before. Blech. All right, looks like this one's got some stuff up on it. Bobo stew. Yeah, slappings. Cement mixer. <laughs> Chocolate milk, orange juice, apple juice, water. A lot of weird combos, yeah. I've been on a uh, Thai food kick recently. Like every time I think about, you know, what I want for dinner, it's Thai food, really hot. It, it doesn't even always have to be hot. Like I, I like heat in my food, but just, you know, Thai food, like some chicken pad Thai or some Rare beef, uh, 
and sushi. I, I eat a lot of sushi. Big fan. Yeah, drunken noodles? Absolutely. Wife wife loves drunken noodles. And and rare beef pho. Uh, that would be one of her go-tos as well. Oh, what is that? Lanford Lounge. We should probably land at that city since we actually identified it. Or land at this bar. Just so we're, you know, in their contact book in the event that they need anything. Let's see who this person is. Had sushi tonight. The volcano rolls is a favorite. Yeah. Ooh. This is this is a potential pilot. Look here. I'm not here trying to cause any issues. <laughs> I'm just trying to enjoy my drink in peace. What do you want from me? Oh wait. I've seen your plane before. You're part of that Brew Baron's group, aren't you? Yep. I used to work for the pirate group. We're talking a year ago. I flew one of those small pirate gunships all over the Del Holden and Marioth coasts with my crew spreading fear and robbing the weak. I don't say that with pride. <laughs> I regret my past choice. I quit the gang after someone dear to me was inadvertently critically injured by my squad. Now I, well, I'm looking to make things right. I hurt a lot of people. I gotta make up for that somehow. All right, well. I was just about to ask about that. I've been looking for ways to make up for my past. I tried religion, charitable acts, and community service to atone, but nothing really seems to help. Whenever I see a glimpse of those pirates on the horizon, it puts me in a rage. The bastards know they're hurting others and spreading misery, but they don't care. Their greed blinds them. With that said, I will not pass up this opportunity. Those pirates seriously boil my blood. So, if I can help with the toppling of the goons, I gladly step up to the task. I'll be <laughs> waiting for assignment back at your establishment. All right. I was wondering, you know, how we recruited these people. Because when we started this stream, I had no other people. Now we've got two. Welcome to the Lanford Lounge. I'm Irene, the owner of this splendid little bar. You're new here, aren't you? Nope. Actually, yes. I'm looking for a new supplier. I'll mail a contract over to you as soon as I can. Perfect. Times have been hard for my daughter and I as we work tirelessly to keep this bar afloat for our high clientele. We were doing well <laughs> for a while, up until those pirates moved in with their rampant extortion and snuffing out competing suppliers. I don't know how much longer we might last at this rate. I got you. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, good. So we are... On the record with them now. What what happened? What happened? Why were we upside down? Why is our plane broken? What happened? <laughs> did, did we get like... Gah! It is going to be expensive to repair this. Four gold. You saw that, right? Like we landed... We stopped, we went inside, we came back out, and our plane was upside down in the water. Like, did we get, like, burgled? Was there, like, some vandalism? Is that the, is that the, like, inner city equivalent? Or the, the, like, I guess, float plane equivalent of coming back to your, you know, car being up on blocks and all the wheels missing? Ridiculous. Gah. Hey, uh, Korean corn dog. Corn dog with mozzarella stick, battered, rolled in potatoes, and deep fried. <laughs> Go on, yes. <laughs> Star Popeye. War keep? I don't, I, I don't think I've had that before. Spider rolls. I have, I, I just, I, yeah, sushi. I mean, pretty much any, any roll. I'm, I'm down for it. Let's see. Okay. Ridiculous how much we had to pay for that. That's what, you know, whatever. 
New contract options. Ivy grape. We definitely can't even get that yet. We'll go try and check out these other couple islands. We we'll go check that one out too. I don't know. Let's see. Getting a lot of exploration done here today. Oh well. Something tells me that island in front of us is not going to be friendly. Yeah, so whenever you crash somewhere just out in the middle of nowhere, you get taken back to these shipyards. And then you can pay to get your aircraft fixed and that sort of stuff. So I'm curious, because there's one island right here, and then there's another one past that. More sushi is better, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm realizing that I didn't eat a whole lot, so, you know, you guys and... <laughs> it's all right. I think we'll be able to get out of here. Within the one minute. Sir Mavery again. You just don't know when to mind your own business, do you? Well, my guns ah. will deal with you now. Pirates have opened fire. So we don't get a warning. Cool. Fresh grilled crab, huh? Pilot check. You're looking slightly fatigued. Yeah, tell me about it. Did the little plane get scared by the thundering cannons? Well, mind your own business next time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I wore out my welcome with that guy. But to be fair, he's in two different places. That's like, what is that even all about? Obviously, once I upgrade my plane a little bit, i be able to build a heavy one too. I'm excited to build a heavy plane, but I, it says I'm missing blueprints. So I, I must be, maybe once I get more fame or something, I'll be able to just do more with them. I, I don't know. Reached an island. Fari, huh? We got pirates. I think those are... Pirate gunships yeah. in the area. Pirate gunships. What do we even have up here? Royal Truffle Sea Pickle. Good. can't just fast travel so we'll try hitting up that island and then we might need to head back because she Why is going to be back? tired Better get out of here. The clock is ticking. no I'm not listening Good. And don't come back. I'll be back for you guys don't worry only a matter of time yeah it just shows up where I am like a jealous ex <laughs> Talk. <laughs> War keep. Let's see what these are. Probably not going to be high enough leveled. I don't think our yeah. equipment can collect this item. Swept seed. When your family was in the middle of moving, you had to stop in Memphis. Some La Quinta or something. There was a deployable police camera on every corner. Like a residential area. Saw an orange car propped up on bricks with all the tires missing. <laughs> you actually saw one. That's great. Worse than Chicago, huh? All right. There we 
go. Yeah, pretty pretty darn cool here. This the Brew Barons that they included. You know, a shout out to the channel. Droog, as it were. And I would have been happy to do the voice. That was I think that was one of the things that I reached out to them about was like offering to, to help with voice stuff. Could have been uh could have been the Rug or, you know, D apostrophe Rug, you know, de Rug. Could have had me voicing it. That's okay. Still a cool shout out nonetheless. <laughs> Memphis. Minus 50 out of 10, never going back. <laughs> I mean, that's a definitive score. We've reached an island. Island of Roncia. Fly to the Opal Retreat. I've not seen a business by that name that I know of. We need to get back so we can get some rest. Is there no, no town? Freshwater aqueducts. These aqueduct fragments were once part of a vast network used to collect and channel fresh water to other locations on the island. As techniques of collecting groundwater improved, these costly aqueducts were dismantled into materials for constructing wells and filtering systems. Okay, you guys had a huge freshwater source on this tiny island? I mean, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see here. They did a great job putting that huge church on top of the uh, the main island. It's visible from pretty much everywhere. You discovered that if you take the center bar out of a doorway, you can drive a car straight inside. <laughs> that was your senior prank. <laughs> Leave it on bricks in the middle of commons. Buy a cheap car off Craigslist, and then leave it on bricks in the middle of the commons. <laughs> That's pretty good. I, you know, I, I bet that was interesting to deal with. I don't, I don't even remember what our senior prank was. I don't know. I was. I was a good kid for the most part. It was, you know, like attendance and stuff. And you know, at that point I was still, you know, well, maybe I just, I didn't know what, what was gonna happen. I had considered the idea of doing like uh, Air Force Academy or Naval Academy or more correctly applying for and hopefully getting recommended, but who knows. That's okay. These days people are stealing stuff from schools as their senior pranks? Ugh. Kids these days, uh, I don't even know. You know, they talk in this game, like in the the credits or like the loading screens and stuff about how it was made by like two people and a composer and then, you know, Kickstarter backers. And this is, this is really cool for, you know, 
that small of a team get to be this beautiful, relaxing. I could probably get that. That's grapes. Yeah. yeah, that church is gonna be the center of some alchemical symbol. We're gonna mix an airplane and like two of these pilots into like a half mechanical, half human homunculus. It's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. She is tired. Any apple trees directly in front of me? No. Let's strafe a boat and see if we get accosted. Let's crank one out there and see if we get it. Oh man. Stop, don't shoot the civilians. We're trying to grow a business here. <laughs> Sorry, gosh. Just a real, real killjoy. See, if we wouldn't have crashed the plane for no reason, we would totally be able to, like, repair it. Oh, well, what, sorry, we would be able to upgrade it real well. Maybe go get some of that it's mint stuff. Yeah, ruining all my fun, right? Wonder what that would do to my fame. Like, the fame accrues really quite slowly, I tell you what. It reminds you of Valkyria, Valkyria Chronicles. I thought the same thing, Bart. Oh my goodness, with the Bert. That's that's what that, uh, that boat heard, was the Bert right there. <laughs> Senior year for you, Slappins. Local fire department through a high school program, able to go on calls. Oof. You knew a guy who rolled his car and you had to go respond to the call? Jeez. That is something. So let's see what this guy does. Let's see here. Let's go to Brewer. Burning hatred for pirates causes projectile damage to increase the longer the battle rages. Hmm, well, better make him an accountant. <laughs> Uh, mechanic. Reduces repair and construction costs. Increases brew orders with higher value. Uh, maybe, maybe put him down there. Or a forager just generates extra stuff. He seems like the sort of person who could maybe be, you know, boots on the ground marketing. There we go. Yeah. Why do we have a seaplane? That's a great question. We'll, we'll do that. Go back to modify here and we'll just... So I'm actually gonna wrap this up here, but for anybody who just joined, it's, uh, this is called Brew Barons, The Brew Barons. It's in beta right now. It's on Steam. I think they've got a demo still on Steam. But the game is launching. It's coming out here in, I don't know, about a month. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Bart. Bad timing. I'm going to up... I mean, of course, you'll be able to watch this, but I'm also going to upload it over to the uh, Nodak Express Long Plays channel on YouTube. And there will be some other um, videos of this game over there as well. This It has a, a shout-out to the channel, to Nodak Express Gaming in the game with uh, with Droog's place and we went and checked that out so Droog's place if you will um and yeah Bart uh, if you're if you mentioned this looked like Valkyria Chronicles if you haven't seen all my commentary playthroughs of every Valkyria Chronicles game <laughs> they are all over there on Nodak Express long plays uh including two and three that were only on the PSP so anyway check that out sometime but uh, this is yeah the un the the unanticipated combination of like a brew pub simulator, and like float plane resource collection, and then aerial combat with pirates. <laughs> These are a lot of fun. I tell you what. Oh Bart, you've seen those? That's great. That's great. Yeah, it's uh, two and three. I, you know, there's almost no coverage of them out there on YouTube. I made. Uh, 
I, I made movie versions too. So you can sit through like the Valkyria Chronicles 2 and I, I read everything aloud in English and stuff. Anyway, I, yeah, emulators. It was it was total total emulators. It was it was great. Uh, there, yeah, Bart. There was a uh, there was a fan patch, and so I I yeah I I played it and read it aloud in English and even the voiced. Um, yeah, I think most of the cutscenes were in English. Yeah, you had the option for the cutscenes to be in English. But the, uh, the the rest of it was like a fan patch. So yeah, those are over there too. I've, I've literally played all of the Valkyria Chronicles uh, and done commentary playthroughs. And then I even made movie versions of 2 and 3. So anyway. Um, yeah, those were a lot of fun. Be sure to check those out if you haven't. But uh, yeah, Brew Baron's here. I'd played this, I don't know, a year or two ago. And then kind of reached out to the developers, a really small team, and it seems like they've gotten tremendous support. The music's great. This is just a really relaxing game, and, you know, their their willingness to kind of have a shout-out to, to the gaming, you know, Nodak Express Gaming in it is just pretty pretty darn cool. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm going to keep playing this. I might stream each time I try to, you know, fight one of those bosses or something. I don't know. I've got a lot of kind of grinding I need to do for my reputation and then like just more money for these upgrades. I've got a lot of upgrades I need to do. Even just upgrading my air collection so I can get the resources that Droog needs for uh, for his stuff. And then, you know, of course being able to build like heavier aircraft. There, You can build like big float planes. But see, to do that, I have to have a pond, uh, a blueprint, and I don't have a blueprint yet, so I don't know. I'm looking forward to figuring what that is. Am I going back to a regular schedule? No, no, I'm, I'm not. I, I want to, uh, I want, I want to be able to stream more, but when I'm flying and stuff, it's uh, the, the timing is just kind of rough. But there are a ton of games out right now that I'm looking forward to streaming more. Um, and then hopefully I've got some stuff uh, I've got I've got some videos already recorded that I just haven't had time to edit um, helicopter dating simulator <laughs> anybody familiar <laughs> I played it <laughs> can I stream while flying uh, no 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 <laughs> yeah yeah, helicopter dating simulator. It is it is a thing and it is ridiculous. <laughs> I had a great time with that one and uh, uh yeah, I, I think I played maybe an hour and a half of that. And so I'm not like done with it by any means. And uh, I've got I've got to edit that up a little bit. I haven't decided if I'm going to put that on the long plays channel or if I'm going to try and curate it a little bit more and put it on put it on the main channel i don't know huey on huey action you'll just you'll just have to see you'll just have to see <laughs> there's a part on there that is quite it's quite possibly the hardest i've laughed at a video game Certainly while while making content, and I, I, can't, I can't recall. So, anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Yeah, 1028 guy, you just walk up to somebody and tell them, tell them you're a pilot. Like, hey, I'm a pilot. Bam. You know, date, date achieved. Oh, yeah. Have I tried Helleborn? Yeah, Bart, uh, I did. I, I played Helleborn like two publishers ago and uh, really enjoyed, really enjoyed it. Um, but it kind of it, it went a little off the rails with some of the newer guys but uh, uh, the newer publishers rather they tweaked a lot of things and like the whole crowd that was playing it kind of died off but yeah I played that quite a bit and really enjoyed it I made it I unlocked up to like the uh, combat Chinook and then like the CH-53 I might have done some more with that. I can't recall, but I was I was just unlocking the U.S. Tech Tree. Yeah, Space Engineers. Uh, I can't remember. It might have been you, Sunscriber Warp Keep, that mentioned um, Heavenly Bodies to me a long time ago, and I uh, 
I, I, I looked at that one too. That, that one's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, I, I got that hoping to do some group play on that one with like a misanthrope, uh, and, uh, some other people that I've got lined up who are kind of physically near me and know who I am and want to kind of make some videos and stuff. But that, that one will be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, Helleborn with AI support, absolutely. So yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll see some more Brew Barons here on the channel at some point soon. I'm, I'm having a blast with it. It's just relaxing, and I, I've, I've needed that. Um, so it's been, it's been a lot of fun. And I tell you what, you know, I appreciate everybody coming out here. Still got a few of you hanging around uh, yet this evening. And uh, goodness gracious, it's nearly midnight my time. I, I got to get back. I got to get back. Um, but uh, yeah, as I mentioned, all my streams and everything get uploaded over to uh, Nodak Express Long Plays. And uh, there's a bunch of videos, commentary playthroughs and stuff over there. So be sure to check those out if you're, if you're bored sometime. Many thanks to the uh, patrons and Twitch subscribers, all that sort of thing. Uh, really, really do appreciate that support. And I'd mentioned it before, but there is going to be a new Twitch intro here pretty soon. I've got it pretty much all edited. I just want to add in some highlights from uh, some, some other videos into it. And so then there, there'll be about like a six to eight minute kind of warning. Like when the notice goes out that Nodak is streaming, there will be a uh you know there will be stuff to kind of watch and like a countdown timer and that sort of thing for uh between six and eight minutes i haven't decided it to, to go just there so um you saw you saw the twitch name in the last uh, youtube video 1028 <laughs> yeah that's great i'm glad uh, i'm glad glad you like that you know there for full-time content creators they're just so much you have to be on that stuff all the time and like YouTube channel memberships and all that sort of stuff. Like, and even, even the ads on Twitch here, like, I don't, I have no idea what the monetization is like on this stuff, but like it is, it's just, it's just nearly impossible to do just based on like ad revenue. Like, it, you know, so anyway, and that's why I don't do it full time and I, no one needs to feel pressured to support it at all. I don't, I don't want, anybody to come to the channel with you know those sorts of feelings but uh, man for full-time content creators who don't already have a separate education and like a different career and that sort of thing it is tough 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 so anyway mock one driver on youtube huh 1028 guy i'll have to I'll have to check that out by golly yeah that's great Best day ever, the upside down helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Like when we were we were just flying it around, I forget even where we'd gone, like Denver or LA or something, and just like seeing if we could crash it. And then oh no, we could climb. We could climb upside down. <laughs> oh gosh, that was that was funny. It was LA, was it? Yeah, I could I couldn't recall. And I've still wanted to try and land an airplane on the uh the st louis arch and i've i've tested it a little bit and last time i tried it the st louis arch was not rounded like it was it was blocks and uh like big blocks too so if you tried to land onto it your wheels would just kind of go in until you arbitrarily hit some square block in there so that was that was nearly impossible. We tried to do something else on that stream too. I feel like fly through some Brandenburg gate or something like that. Tried to fit an L39 through there, I think. And that was, that didn't go well. That was, <laughs> it was too, the plane was too big and just something else we, something else we could do there. But, uh, so anyway, okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Hopefully I will be back uh, sooner rather than later with some more streams. It's great to see everybody. Good to have the gang out. Chocolate water, lava discussion, all the all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, the TSA would like to know my location. <laughs> exactly. Slappins. <laughs> exactly. Alrighty, well, I hope wherever you are, I hope uh, that you're doing well. And uh, for most of us here in the United States anyway, everybody uh, be sure to have a great evening. Thanks for watching.